Good morning all, this is a video that will give you a brief overview of using a mouse sander. Okay, so mouse sanders are really good for uh, a little bit of fine, of fine sanding, but they still take off a good amount of material. There are, I, I like to say, kind of like four classes worth of sanders. The highest class, which is which takes off the most amount of material. It's not meant for for fine sanding, and those are like the belt and disc sanders that we have in our workshop. Okay, those are the big machines, and then the step below those, um, which are more fine-tuned but then they take off a little bit less material they still take off a lot of material but those are just straight handheld belt sanders now we don't necessarily use those in class but uh, th that would be the next level below the belt and disc sanders be below the big machines and then underneath you underneath the the belt sanders or the handheld belt sanders then we have like the mouse sanders or the orbital sanders now these are a little bit more for fine sanding so they they'll, they'll smooth it out but they still do take off material a, a, a lot of material um, so you want to use these once you have really have your shape out but then you want to fine tune some of it uh, just to or you want to smooth smooth over some of it right before you go into the actual handheld and actually using sandpaper by hand because the last step that you really want to do with any really smooth project really fine uh, really fine project that you is uh, you want to hand sand that with um, some fine grain sandpaper that's what's really going to make your project really 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 super smooth okay so those are your four levels you have your belt and disc sanders the, the large machines and then you have your handheld belt sanders then you have your orbitals or your mouse sanders and then sandpaper okay so a few things before you sand I always suggest this always make sure you have on your safety glasses purpose of that is again when you're using a sander sand is going to or, or sawdust is constantly going to be going up into the air and you don't want any of that stuff getting into your eyes or getting into your lungs because it can become an irritant okay so I'm not going to so um, I'm not going to put these on just yet because I want to go over a couple more things with you um, let's go over the parts of the mouse sander okay so I already have sandpaper on this but you have your sandpaper and then underneath your sandpaper you have your this is what your sand this is what your sandpaper attaches to okay so this is kind of like your work surface here and the sandpaper goes on top of that notice that it has these holes in here these holes are to allow air um, and the sawdust uh, to be removed from the particular project and this actual sand actually has a filter so the extra sawdust goes inside these holes and it goes into the filter. But let's go into the parts. You have your work surface. Generally, then you have your motor, because this causes your, your sand to, to vibrate and to move around. You have your handle, and then you have your on and off switch. Okay? And then you, you last and certainly not least, you have your filter. So again, we have those five parts. You have your sander, your work surface. You have your motor, handle, on and off switch, filter, and I'm sorry, I almost forgot the, the, the power cord. Okay? All right. So let's get into uh, using this. All right, let me put my safety glasses on. Then notice that this is unplugged. It's getting always unplugged. Now, when I'm ready to use it, a couple things I want to make sure that I do make sure that my sander is in the off position before I plug it in. So now I'm going to plug it in. Okay. Always before you turn on your sander, make sure to hold it with both hands. Okay. 
the sturdier or the the sturdier or the more stable that you have or that you control your sander the better it is going to be for you okay the more control you're going to have over your uh, over your project and the more success that you'll have okay so before we turn it on again make sure you hold it with both hands now I'm going to turn it on and hopefully you'll be able to hear me over the sander if not I'll kind of repeat some of the things I say all right so I'm going to turn it on I want to make sure that it is up to full speed before I take my other hands off okay so now I'm going to put my sander in my grip where I can control it here's my material so now that I have my material out I'm going to gently you don't want to press real hard I'm going to gently go over my material here okay Once I'm done, I'm going, first thing I'm going to do is put my material down. Then, I'm going to repeat those steps that I did when I turned on my sander. I'm going to hold, have it with both hands to make sure that it's sturdy, and then turn it off. Okay? I'm going to wait for it to, for it to completely stop, and then I can put it down. Once it's down, I'm going to unplug it. Okay. So kind of a, a recap of what I just did. When you turn on your sander, you want to make sure that it's in an off position, then plug it up, then hold it with both hands, then turn it on. Okay? Then once you then once it's on, it's up to full speed, then you can pick up your material and then you can begin sanding your work as you need to. Again, sand it lightly because it because again the handheld still do take off a, quite a bit of material if you press down on them too hard. And that's not necessarily what you want to do. These are kind of like for fine-tuning some of your some of your work, some of your sanding. Okay? Then, once you're done with your sanding, put your material down, hold, your, hold the mouse sander with both hands again, and then turn it off. And again, once it's, once it's completely stopped, put it down, and then unplug it. Again, please make sure that your workspace is neat and vacuumed and wiped up after you're done because you do not want to leave a mess for other people. You don't want people leaving a mess for you. Okay, so that is a brief overview of using a mouse sander, and I look forward to seeing your amazing creations.